This is our construction site at 313 Drake. You are entering the construction zone. Do not cross the yellow line. You will be allowed to cross the yellow line during the time of your tour. Well, we need another location because our 1014 Center Avenue location is packed full. Dr. Doug DeYoung and Kelly Lothar just simply have no more room to see patients. It's leading to excessive wait times, and the only way we can solve the problem is by adding uh, more rooms. This building lay vacant for years. It was uh, tantamount to urban blight, and we are investing about $2 million to do a 10,000 square foot rehabilitation that will feature in-house lab, x-ray, a drive through pharmacy, and multiple visiting specialists. There are there are two teams here. We've got we've got the construction team. Can we have a little hua from the construction team. Yeah, and we have Team Miramonts. Have a little hua. All righty. Uh, coming from Parker today. If you drove all the way from Parker, would you just raise your hand? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? We didn't have 10, 11, 12 year pins. So uh, Tina Smith, you want to come up? We have your 10 year pin. 10 year pin has a real little diamond in it. 10 years. For Tina Smith, woo! woo! That's pretty darn cool. Where's my diamond? It's in there. <laughs> this is a 12-year award, all right? Nermont's 12 years old. Good job, Teresa. This is the back of the building, okay? Now, the original um, Passport Restaurant or County Cork ended here. And if you would have been here, there was a loading dock, and then there was a, a, an ADA accessible ramp that went down to the basement. We've extended out to make about a 2,500 square foot expansion. There's a picture posted here that shows what it looked like from this vantage point six months ago. And then you can see what the building looks like now. And it's kind of cool to, to see how it's changed. We'll have our signage up over top, advertising the uh, drive through dispensary. And then also it'll be visible LED lighting, two stories up, uh, that'll be easily seen by this intersection. Behind you, take a look at the Max bus. Primary reason why we built here, um, that's a $78 million project that the federal government invested in Fort Collins, brings traffic back and forth nonstop uh, with a stop right there from uh, CSU all the way down to Harmony. Uh, currently about 40,000 cars a day, expected to be about 60,000 people a day once the Max Bus project is up and running. We're going to go down these stairs. In the new building, this is going to no longer be two levels. This, this facility had kind of a, a Casa Bonita feel to it. We're putting in extra duty, heavy insulation because of the noise. You heard the train come by a little bit earlier. This will be where our ancillary services are provided, our esthetician, physical occupational therapy, audiologist, um, and then natural health associates bringing chiropractic, traditional Chinese medicine, and herbalist, acupuncture, massage therapy. Uh, we'll all be located up here. They'll have kind of their own space. We are a patient-centered medical home, which means that we are attempting to provide what I would consider to be old-fashioned medicine with newfangled techniques. We're trying to return medicine to being about the patient and the doctor-patient relationship, um, making sure that people are involved and active in their own care. It's going to mean a little more space for our patients, a um, little bit more organization, which is going to mean a lot uh, easier workplace, um, more simple to get around, and just more efficient overall. We've done the data. Um, our, our most productive facility per square foot is Wellington. It's the one we built ourselves. It's our most recent project. Really what I'm mostly excited for is to have the Miramont layout um, and a, again a little more organization. The uh, Wellington office was built as a Miramont office and the layout of that office is very easy to move around, get patients in and out. Um, the Snow Mesa office was also designed to be that way as far as I know and it works very well.